I did not do this alone, and I did it with all of your help. John Lon was jubilant after winning the Democratic nomination for the 10th Middlesex District in Tuesday's primary election. I'm very happy. I just want, again, I just acknowledge my opponents. The seat was formally held by new Middlesex County Sheriff Peter Katusian, who was at Shoppers Cafe on Moody Street Tuesday night to congratulate the Watertown Town Councilor. He should run for Senator real soon. Lawn runs a small real estate brokerage in Watertown. He defeated the second place finisher, Waltham City Councilor Gary Marchese, by 138 votes. Lawn received 876 votes total and Marchese 738. Finishing third was Alan Siccone, a Sherburne police officer and Newton Alderman at large, with 460 votes. Sean Durkee, an Iraqi war vet and business manager from Waltham, earned 327 votes. The 10th Middlesex District includes parts of Watertown, Waltham, and Newton. Here in Waltham, Marchese won all nine precincts with 659 votes total over Lawn's 361. Lawn will now face Waltham Republican Jim Dixon in the special election on May 10th. Dixon ran in the primary unopposed and received a total of 236 votes across the district. This is a heavy Democratic area, but we have seen in the state um, what has happened, and I cannot take this lightly. Over at the Sons of Italy on Cedar Street, a modest crowd of supporters consoled Ward 5 Councillor Marchese, the favorite in the race. I want to thank the voters of Waltham. They, they came out um, in, in decent numbers and, and supported me. You know, there's really no reason why um, I lost. I can't blame anybody but myself. I do congratulate John Long. He ran a great campaign. Uh, good for him, and he's a good person. Um, I think the district will be well served by him. The turnout in Waltham was low. Approximately 9% of the 16,194 registered voters in the district cast their ballots. This man voted at a polling station at the Bright School in Ward 5. Uh, I was actually just driving down the street and saw that there was a special election, so I uh, came in, did my civic duty. For Waltham News Watch, this is Chris Wangler.